Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bloodborne, episode one of the Old Hunters DLC, which is like episode nine or ten in the actual playlist. I'm not going to separate them into different playlists. I'm just saying, yo, we starting the DLC today, baby. We're in the Hunter's Nightmare. Now, as y'all know, the worldly gig saw that I've been using the whole game is a DLC weapon in the first place. So I had to run through the DLC as soon as I unlocked it just to pick this thing up and then bolt the hell up out of there. So I already got the shortcut unlocked, but we're not going to take the shortcut. Why would I take the shortcut? You know what I'm saying? I need to I need to actually play the level. So let us do the damn thing, man. Oh my goodness. Are we even prepared? What level are we? We are level 85. 40 vitality, 50 strength. I need 10 more endurance so that I can finally be comfortable with my stamina levels. But other than that, yeah, man, we are set to get this thing going. How y'all doing today, baby? Old Hunters DLC, here we come. So I'm thinking that this is gonna get separated. Look at the old hunter. Look, 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 look. They're about to, he about to obliterate them werewolves. Yeah, let's get it. So I'm thinking we separate this series into three parts. This first part is gonna be everything leading up to Ludwig, or Ludwig, however you say his name. Yeah. Then the part two is going to be the research hall. And the goddamn um, living failures, as well as Lady Maria, because she comes right after that. And then the third video of the DLC, we will be bookending it with boss fights. We're going to start that video with Lawrence, the first vicar. And then we're going to do the fishing hamlet and end the walkthrough on the orphan of cause. Because from my perspective, in my personal opinion, the Orphan of Cause is the hardest boss in Bloodborne. From my first time ever beating Bloodborne, way back when, I did not die to any boss more times than I died to the Orphan of Cause, bro. The Orphan of Cause was whooping my ass for like three straight hours before I finally beat him. I know three hours sounds crazy. But, bro, I just could not beat that thing, bro. Orphan of Cost was extremely difficult. Now, I don't think it'll take that many attempts this time around. We're a bit more seasoned than we were back then. But, yeah, to me, Orphan of Cost is the most difficult boss. Bars. So, yeah. That's why we're ending it with him. Instead of fighting the Orphan first and then going to fight Lawrence. I know that's what a lot of people do. All right, actually, let me fight you while... The other hunter is still busy before y'all jump me. Okay, okay. You got range, I see you. Get my health back. Oh, yeah! How you like it? Oh my goodness, he got the boom hammer. Leave me alone. Sneak attack. Why you focus on a werewolf? Yeah, baby! Oh, uh, die. Bro, I just killed the hunter that you were scared of, and you attack me? Hell is wrong with y'all. All right. But yeah, man, I gave you all the game plan. One boss fight in this video. Two boss fights in the next video. Two boss fights in the third video. And again, the reason I'm separating it into three videos instead of five, since there's five bosses in the DLC, is because... Well, hold on. I'm sure I ain't miss nothing. Let me go back real quick, real quick. But yeah, the reason I'm separating it into three videos instead of five videos is because Ludwig, this, this whole area leads into Ludwig. So like that's that's all this is a whole ass video right here before I even get to fight him. The research hall is a whole ass area that is annoying as hell from what I remember, but it ends in the living failures fight. But first of all, the living failures are trash. And second of all, again, Lady Marie is literally right after them. So why wouldn't I just fight her immediately after beating them? And then, like I said, Lawrence the First Vicar is literally an optional boss, but we're going to do the optional bosses. We've done them all so far. So we do him right before doing the fishing hamlet. So I can get his souls and upgrade one last time before finding the orphan. Now, let me stop talking about the bosses and talk about what's going on right now, baby. We're running through pretty smooth right now. How the hell do I get over there? I'll get that later. We're doing good. We're doing good. For those of y'all who didn't, like, if you're watching this video, and this is, like, the first video in the series of mine that y'all are seeing, in the part before where I fought the moon presence, I show y'all a tactic 
to get out of the oh that was close <laughs> i used i used to buy but i showed y'all a tactic to get out of the garmin or moon presence boss fight which is literally just after you beat the moon presence wait until it says nightmare slain and use a bold hunter's mark which lets you teleport out of the boss arena after beating the moon presence getting the souls for it getting the badges all that and then whenever you want to end the actual game you just walk into the, the field again and it plays the cutscene for going into new game plus because like i've spoken on before and i'm gonna speak on it one more time then i promise y'all i'm gonna leave the topic alone because i don't want to you know beat a dead horse on this most people's first experience with the old hunters dlc was a new game plus experience not only just that but probably an under level new game plus experience so for most people despite the fact that the old hunters is meant to be difficult i think that most people's first experience with, with the old hunters dlc was way more hard than it was than it was supposed to be considering the fact that most people did one run of new game and then you know after going into new game plus just went straight into the dlc after beating vicar amelia technically you're supposed to beat the game a whole nother time a whole second time and get a whole nother you know another new game run cycle plus worth of upgrades before starting the uh dlc but no one does no one did that so they were probably under level for this shit i pinned it i'll be back for you later and i know some of y'all get a rise get a kick out of doing low level runs of these games i don't bro like, I know a lot of people have done soul level one runs of these games. That sounds putrid. That sounds absolutely horrid. It doesn't sound like a fun time. Getting to a point to where I'm far in the game, but I'm only level one. And so I'm not doing that much damage whatsoever to the enemies. Every enemy feels like a goddamn boss fight with all the health that they got. I ain't trying to deal with that shit, bro. That don't sound fun to me, bro. It just, it just don't. I love difficulty in games but not necessarily arbitrary difficulty. Haha. <laughs> oh no. Well, there's a thing right there. Out of the way. Gotta get to him. I have pebbles. I will throw them. Stop it. Yeah. You're dead. Okay. And what you want to do here is not attack him directly. Because what he wants you to do is run past. You know what? Just break it. He wants you to run past him, step on the ledge, and then get shot. Step on that button he's standing on. Get off the button. But yeah, man, <laughs> like I said, doing doing what I did is what I highly recommend. Fight Garmin, fight the moon presence, bold hunters mark out of the fight after you kill them. So that you don't have to do a new game plus run of the damn DLC. Not that old hunters new game plus isn't going to be fun, but it's just like. Being underleveled isn't fun. I don't like being underleveled. I like being appropriately leveled. Being overleveled can be fun too, for obvious reasons. <laughs> All right. I see you. Get out of there. You know, those delayed Molotovs don't really have as much range as I would expect them to. Which is good for me. That means I don't. It don't take a lot of effort to dodge. Okay. Wood torch out. Speaking of torch, hand lantern, baby. I always forget. I want double light source. Smack with the club a little bit. Mm. And it's somebody back here. It is, but he don't move. All right, that's cool hell okay oh <laughs> i'll be back let 
There's a bomb on that chair. Set it off. There we go. It didn't set off. There we go. Uh-huh. How many of y'all died to that bomb first time? Oh, that's where the boom hammer is. I know I did. Okay, so what does the boom hammer scale with? I mean, obviously it's a strength weapon. It scales C. I wonder how high it gets once you fully upgrade it. I'm not gonna fully upgrade it, but I mean, it'll be fun to mess around with, wouldn't it? Okay, so before we come down here, because I think that's the way to go, what we will do is come back up here and grab this. Load Hunter Top Hat. So the only way out of here is down. Why? Not with the blood liquors. There's so many of them. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to fight yet. I'll, I'll be back to fight you guys. Don't worry. But not right now. What you doing? Dying is what you're... I wasn't done over there yet, man. Put it down. Uh, uh, uh. Ha <laughs> ha. No, the blood liquors might not be that difficult. As quick as I'm killing things right now. Damn, one shot? Oh, these blood liquors are actually healthy. Unlike those starving blood liquors at Castle Canehurst. Oh, fuck. Ow. Stop spitting blood at me. Oh, okay. Okay. Two for the price of one. I like it. All of y'all. Hit me with slow poison. Stop. I have antidotes. But I don't have them equipped for whatever reason. Why? Stop being pussies. You're just sitting back, spitting blood at me. Stop it! Huh? I need to get back to where I was at. Because there was an area up there I needed to explore. I ain't explored it yet. Dang. Fuck. I'm surprised the other ones aren't aggroed. All right, here they come. Oh! They're spinning. I missed. What the fuck? <laughs> How about to say, why did it turn around mid-fight? Oh, send up for a damn donkey kick. Get out of here. You're not a horse, sir. You don't do that. I like none of you vile creatures. Also, I think one of the blood gems that I have equipped makes me do like 10% less damage to kin type enemies, which these would be associated with. But it improves my damage numbers overall by enough to make up for that reduced damage to kin. Yeah, I definitely need a little bit more stamina, bro. I know you could kind of blame it on me because I was kind of just going at it. But like, yeah, I need more stamina. Okay. Now we run back this way. I think this is where we're supposed to go to get back to where we were. I'm so glad y'all stagger. Imagine if they didn't, if they just power through everything you do. Oh, this was leads back to the house. Oh, this is where I was gonna be coming anyway. No, but first we gotta go this way though. But there's stuff over here, including I think, isn't this where that beast claw enemy is? Think, yeah, he's right there. Shut up. Get off me. Watch this. Grind, 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 grind. You're in the corner. Okay. No, pull up, pull out the blick, pull out the blick. Even though this is technically a hunter fight, so. First of all, put the torch away, sir. Okay, 
dumbass. You want to keep moving around and shit? How about that? How about that? How about that? That's what I like. I missed. Overhead smash. Overhead smash. Overhead smash. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Die! Delay the death? Just die. <laughs> the hell? All right, what's over here? Nothing. There's nothing over here. Middle like wasting my time. I could. I mean, I got. I don't. I got something from him. I think it might be something that I need. Was it like a vermin or something? I don't. I don't damn know. But we we, we beat the guy. I wanted to beat him. So, whatever. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Let us continue. We're moving pretty smoothly right now, if I do say so myself. We're going at a pretty brisk pace. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, switch back to the two-handed version. That's the that staggers in the most. Yeah. Yeah. Can't power through that shit. I mean, this has a serrated edge, so doesn't this do bonus damage to kin type enemies regardless? No, that's the beast. What am I talking about? Serrated edges are for beasts. Weapons that are like weapons of the church. The ones that do damage to kin enemies and just not the world of saw is not that. It's okay. All right. I think that's the way to go, right? Which means that I, I don't care about that little dude crawling across the ground. I gotta run all the way back here and see what was in that cave where the other bloodsuckers were gathering up. Hold on, is that a door? We can't go up that set of stairs, so. But yeah, check back here real quick. No, this is the way to go. Damn it, okay. We turn around again. All the damn backtracking. It ain't that much. It, we ain't got. We ain't have far to run, so I'll leave it in. Ain't no point of cutting it out. Plus, you know, some people some people use walkthroughs as like guides on which direction. I've done that before in the past, where I got stuck in a game and I had to look at someone else's walkthrough just to see which way they went, so I could you know continue on. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll keep it running. Is what I'm saying. It's gonna be dark in here. Oh, hell no. No, 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 don't get stun locked by the Gatling gun. Yeah, reload. Move. Try to dodge. Overhead smash. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, saw cleaver? He stood no chance. Or saw spear. More specifically. Ooh, we got the Gatling gun. And a blood drag. I think that's what we got from the dude last time. Got another chunk. This is the cave where BSB is in, right? Um. And this is where we came from to get in the cave? It may not be. Where am I? Yeah, because that's the big bridge. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. I got lost. Okay, let's go. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this cave is a dead end. Start being, remember when you were difficult? And when you were something to actually fear and be worried about? Not anymore. Not afraid of you. Okay. Now, what would have made this. First of all, get away. What would have made that this fight more difficult? Aside from the fucking mobs around, 
would be if they would have put second stage Bloodstar Beast or whatever whatever the final stage Bloodstar Beast is in. Does Bloodstar Beast have three stages or is it just two? Ah, I missed. Can you like back the fuck up? Yeah, are y'all afraid of fire, huh? We'll move then. Get out of here. Whatever the final stage of Blood Star, I think it's three. Or phase. They should have put that one in this. I mean, who am I to ask for more difficulty? Like, what am I even talking about right now? I'm just saying it would be more difficult. The Amygdala and Arm. Another weapon I'm not going to use, but it is pretty cool. I ain't going to lie. I feel like it's divisive. I feel like some people like it, some people hate it. I like it. Doesn't it scale for like arcane or something though? Oh, I left something down here. What's that? Oh, twin bloodstone shards. Okay. Do you get another moon rock in the DLC? Because if you do get another moon rock at some point, then I'll probably level up another weapon just for the sake of doing it. Maybe a pistol. Maybe I'll get a different pistol. And level that thing up. But I do think that we did everything that we can do in that cave. I have 10 blood vials. I need more. So now we leave and we run back across and go where we're actually supposed to go. Which is that area that we seen last time. I have 53,900 souls exactly. I'd like to not lose them. If these enemies would be so kind as to not make me lose my souls. Doggy dogs. See, this is delicious. Killing the enemies in a couple hits. Which is to be expected of a maxed out weapon with good blood gems. You know what I'm saying? Like, a weapon is maxed out. I got good blood gems set. My strength stat is 50. I should be doing good damage. But like I said, man, when the first time I played this damn DLC was in New Game Plus. And so I had the experience of the enemies being extra difficult. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. No, we're not. We're not doing this. I can't tell when he's swinging it and when he's just changing his form. Stop it. Give me some health back. I got that blood gem equipped. I'll probably never take this blood gem off. The blood gem that gives you back a little bit of health when you get a visceral. Not just like the health that you can recover from the rally system, but actual healing health. Please go away. Please go away. Annoying bastards. You all give me 858 souls, though. Well, actually, I lied. That was the combination of me killing a few crows. Yeah, I know to go up the ladder. Hey. Hey, man. Stop all that. That is where the world of Gigsaw was, sitting on top of that thing. So I had to run all the way through here that y'all been seeing me do. Climb this ladder while enemies were trying to attack me. Because I ain't fighting nothing. I was nowhere near strong enough. Run all the way around, sprint through, dodge, 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 dodge. Run all the way around. Pick it up and then get the hell up out of there. Hold on, isn't there something down here? I check it. Ain't another car, okay. You gotta check all the nooks, baby. And the crannies. What you doing? Oh, you non-staggering bastard. Okay. You use the quickening. Stop. I'm doing damage. Gotcha. Cover health. Rally system. 
Oh my gosh, I let myself die to him. Ah, uh, he didn't deserve that death, bro. He didn't deserve that. I tell y'all, there's nothing in this life quite as delicious as the tantalizing taste of sweet revenge. Has a sweet but smoky flavor to it. It's robust. I highly recommend it. Oh, that was nice. My blood duckles are on the ground, by the way. I should probably pick those up before finishing this fight. I don't like that you do so much damage to me, sir. You're not better than me. You stack when I hit you with this. Woo! Die. Mmm. Yummy. That shit tastes good. And you got more vermin. The beast hunter safe. That's how we get that. Oh! <laughs> okay, you can't go through the door. Leave me alone, man. I fought you already. I don't want to fight you again. Fuck it! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I forgot you could attack things on ladders. For players that invade you and try to troll you and impede your progress by climbing on a ladder that you need to climb and just standing there. That is hilarious. Okay. We continue. Only well, 34 minutes. We're making good time. Well, 34 minutes for my recording. I mean, I only died that one time, so it's probably still roughly around that amount of time for y'all. These walkthrough parts are usually like 50 minutes or so for Bloodborne. That's what they have been. And I believe the boss is past these two big boys. Will you stop? I don't want to. I'm not fighting both of you. Oh my god. Is he reaching from back there? It seems he can't reach. Okay. Trying to kill me. He successfully killed me. Ah! All right, all right. Sweet Revenge Part 2. Thanks for leaving my souls in that spot. First of all, Cannoneer. I'm going to fight this dude over here. I don't know why I like fighting him in this enclosed space better than in the open. Damn it. Oh, oh you get a visceral. Backstab. Oh, you ain't get me this time. The fuck? Can't see. Die. Appreciate that, brother. All right, now we got the cannoneer one. The cannon executioner. Close range. I'm gonna say you gotta have an attack when you swing that at me. I don't know what the fuck that was, but don't do that no more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's another one. Well, I'm glad he missed. Where yeah. Or was that him? Maybe that was just him. Maybe he just missed a close range. Ludwig's through there. I should level up before I fight Ludwig. I should. But I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wait. First of all. Okay, we are back in the Hunter's Nightmare. Well, no, 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 no. That's not where we are. This is the next area. We, but we gotta proceed from here, I think. Once we uh go where we need to go. Oh, okay, this is more area. But there's a hunter guy. Okay, you know what? Just I'll do it.
Can I shoot him? Put dumb ass down. Uh huh. I was a little bit faster than you. Okay. I was gonna skip it and just fight the boss, but like, y'all haven't seen me do this part yet, so I got I gotta do it. I mean, I haven't done the part yet, period. So. I didn't try to jump forward. That almost got me killed. Ah! Okay, sir. How about that? How about that? Speed. Oh, he missed. Now just damn die. Give me another vermin. What's down here? Is it worth it? I don't know. But I'm going to do it. Get out of there, get out of the middle. Mess around to die on some goofy shit to these damn crows because they stun like you. A, a blood vial, really? That's all that was? Not particularly worth it if I do say so myself. We run through, we got the snail girl. Which she fell from up here because I do believe the fishing hamlet is up above, right? I didn't kill the enemies yet, so leave me alone. Don't look at me. Look at the hunter waiting for me to come around the corner. I'm not coming, bro. You're going to be standing there for quite some time waiting on me. Okay. All right. 41 minutes into the recording, we're already about to fight Ludwig. So we made good time on this first part, didn't we? Now, I don't know how long the research hall part is about to be. Again, I remember that part being long. I remember it being a damn puzzle, a maze. You gotta like fucking solve a puzzle to even get through the area. So the next part might be long as shit. I'm gonna try my best to cut out all the fluff so you don't gotta, you know, see too much of me running around. What the fuck are you doing here? Get off me. You're not taking my eyeball. God damn it. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna try to cut out as much fluff as I can, but I don't know. I have 80,000 at Blood Echoes. I should level up right now, but again, I, I, I don't, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait till after I beat Ludwig and then we level up. Now, what I will do is equip fire paper. Okay. Who's ready for the best cutscene in Bloodborne? Okay, second best, because technically the mid-boss cutscene is the best one. I don't know. Maybe y'all like this first one though. I'm gonna move myself real quick just so I can get the thumbnail better. Ludwig the Accursed is coming. My goodness, bro. Look at him. And all his nasty disgustingness. Yes, sir. Big thumbnail. Okay, we back. Can we one try Ludwig? Serviceable damage. Y'all know, know I've been using my worldly gig L2 attack on every boss. I gotta try it on Ludwig. I'm dodging too early. I'm dodging too early. Don't do that. He still caught me? Okay. Oh shit, that works. No. Oh my god. That shit immediately killed me. Wow. Okay. So much for one shotting Ludwig or one trying Ludwig. All right, attempt number two. Let's do it. Where my blood echoes? Give him here. Get 
be very close for that to work. Ow. Keep attack, keep attack. Oh, the charge. Get up. Ow. Ludwig. Stop it. Oh. Oh. So if you just keep running in one direction, he misses. I didn't get my visceral. I wanted it, but I didn't get it. Okay, we're actually doing really good damage, though. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Gotta get myself out of here again. Just in case I decide to use this as a thumbnail. I'll probably use that first one, though. We'll, we'll see how I feel. Yeah, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the Moonlight Great Sword. The Holy Sword of Moonlight. Whatever you want to call it. It is upon us. It is ever so beautiful. I'm going to take it. It will be mine. Yeah. Oh, put, put the fire back on. Get out of there. Oh, yeah, that's an AOE. I forgot. Yeah. Doing your damn delayed attacks. Get my visceral. Mm. Mm. No, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Get away, get away. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Yes, sir. AoE, AoE. Sorry, Ludwig. My fire's gone, but that's all right. This is where you clock out. Ooh, let me end it with a visceral. Mm. Mm. You beat me once. I'll give it up. You beat me once, Ludwig. Guidance. Got the guidance rune. Yes, you did indeed beat me one time, but that's okay. Because I beat you now. Good hunter. Have you seen the thread of light? Hmm. Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. Yes. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Give me the sword. Give it here. <laughs> Give it to me. Mine. Holy Moonlight Sword. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll take that blood vial. Did I touch the lamp? Okay. Is there someone standing back here? What the fuck? Where you come from? Is this where I came in at? Bitch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever that was. Um, Before I leave on this lamp, let me actually go ahead a little bit just to see what's up here. Shrouded by night, but with steady stride. Pulled by blood, but always proud of the beast. Only... Touch your mouth. Should I just get to the lamp for the research hall so I can at least start out there? Because like I said, this next part going to be long as hell, man. If I remember things correctly, which I'm pretty sure I am. Look at you back there trying to shoot me. No. There you go, sir. 
That's all I wanted. It's real quick. I'm not trying to spend too much more time. I have, a tw I have 128 thousand blood echoes. I need to go back and level up. But I think the research hall isn't far from here, and I'd like to just be in it. The fuck? No oh, rat. Hey, y'all die. Well, I have to pull out the big torch. Another chunk. Aren't there NPCs up here or in this room? Ah! Ah! You will not get me. Move. God damn, you take no damage. From all those were bad times? Thank you. No, no, no. I didn't get my visceral. Damn. What? Bro. Give me viscerals. And Amelia, stop it. I'm pretty sure that's Amelia. The human for the human form of Amelia. Hell no. Nah. Die. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't, yeah, you can't use your magic on me. Mm-hmm. Die. Another blood drag. And more bullets. Okay. Um. So I know. We inserted the eye pendant. We got another cutscene. Put your arm in the socket. Is this the elevator that takes us up to the research hall? I think it is. I'm, hold on, is it is it research hall? Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, that's what this is. Okay. Okay, we got a lamp. Hold on, my ear itches. I tried to ignore it, but I couldn't. The itch was bad. Yes, the research trial. That's exactly where we are. Okay. We will do none of this. What we will do is step back on here. Because there's one last thing we got to do. Before we leave. And that thing is to... Step in the elevator again and send it up. And we get this. Lawrence's skull. That is how we wake up Lawrence, aka the burning cleric beast. And then what we will do is pull the lever, but then get back on it before it goes down, because I think there's something down here quite certain there's something down here. A chest. The church cannon. Okay, that's how you get that. Okay, and now we will ride all the way back to the top. I'll just skip to me being at the Hunter's Dream. All right, back in the Hunter's Dream, we're going to talk to the doll, see how many level ups we got. We have one, two, three, three. Okay. Get endurance to 23. 
By the way, endurance also increases my defense stat. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It. It said forty six thousand to level up. Do we have enough stuff to get forty six thousand real quick? Is he cold blood? Only gives me a thousand. I mean, we could. That's some stuff we could sell. Mm, I need twenty thousand more. I should sell two of these ritual bloods. I should do it. I'm gonna sell these damn shards. Selling off either two will give me exactly. Bro, I'll need these if I wanna level another weapon up. But I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not gonna level another weapon up. Yeah, I'm not gonna level another weapon up. I already know I'm not. But hold on though. <laughs> damn it, bro. Well, I can sell the guns I'm not gonna use. Can you re... Okay, just sell the Gatling gun. And then sell a few shards. Sell twin star shards. Those are the ones we really ain't gonna use. Okay, I think that just got me enough for one more level up. Gammon awake. Gammon don't await nothing. Gammon is dead. Yes, sir. And yes, it does increase physical defense. Barely now, but hey, we got we got more. All right. Farewell, good hunter. That is gonna do it. So, with that being at 24, six more level ups will have our character complete, and then we can start just throwing stats into other shit to play around, to mess around. God damn it. All right. That is going to do it for this part of Bloodborne, man. That was part one of the DLC. The next part will be the Research Hall, the Living Failures, and Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. I know that's a lot of people's favorite boss, so y'all should look forward to that. Make sure y'all show a lot of love to this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we are up out of this thing. This is what we're signing out. Thanks. Yeah.